Hey YouTube, Sherry here coming to you, Sherry VSG, coming to you with my week 15. It's uh, been a good while <laughs> since I've made a video, almost three weeks. Um, kind of all over the place since I started my, my new job, uh, which seems to be going pretty well. Um, I picked up on my job first day. <laughs> um, and I've been left by myself since, so everything's gone good. Um, so anyways, my stats, or my journey, kind of, and then my stats. Okay, so I had sur vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery on March 29th, 2016, through a lighter me uh, in Tijuana, Mexico, with Dr. Mariana Carubias. Carubias. Uh, I'm five foot two. Um, my starting weight was two thirty six point two, and my BMI at the time was forty three. Sorry, I got notes. Um, my surgery it, and my highest weight was two weeks before surgery when I started my pre op diet. Uh, surgery day I was two twenty four even. Um, my last weigh in for my skin flick that I did a few weeks ago was 186 which put me at my first well below my first goal um and my current weight is 181 which is only a loss of five pounds in about two and a half weeks um and my bmi now is 31 33.1 so i think this is um, an obese class one i still have a few more BMI points to go down before I'm officially overweight and not obese. Yay. So, my ideas as to why the weight loss wasn't, you know, significant. A few things. One, I know I'm not getting in enough water. I preach this every week. It's, you know, it's one thing they tell you, you know, that you're going to go through, t through times where you're not hungry. It's another to tell you that you're not going to be thirsty. The only time I get thirsty is when it's really hot or humid out. So I have to force myself to drink. And sometimes getting in, you know, like I have a, a bottle that has like, uh, I think it's like 22 ounces. It's, it's actually a Brita water thing. And they tell you not to drink out of straws but I do but I'll have to show you the way I drink out of straws it seems to work for me I don't know anyways um so yeah it only holds 22 ounces of water and I only get about one of those in at work unless it's a hot day and then I have multiple um so water being one um the other thing is is protein big time struggling with this now, I know there's a ton of different ways to get in protein. Um, you know, like, because I, like I said, I'm, well, I have to insert a picture of the significant hair loss that has commenced. Um, and I think a big part of the, um, the problem is, is that one I can't handle a lot of um I don't know what I'm going with this oh yeah <laughs> um protein so yes I can get in things for my hair my vitamins and all that stuff those things I take daily but if I'm not getting in my protein to keep it going it's kind of pointless um so yeah, I, the, the issues I'm having is one, you know, I try to get in a protein bar on the way to work. Some days I don't even finish it all. Um, it's, I don't know if it's, you know, I'm tired of the flavor. Um, but you know, you spend so much money on these things and then they don't taste good. And then what are you supposed to do with the rest? Are you allowed to take them back? I, I don't know. Um, so I, t I use my protein bars that I use are called pure protein. I get them at Target. Um, they're usually about um, 12 something for 12 bars, I think it is. 
um, and it's, it's like 21 grams of protein, so it's quite high. Um, it's the lowest in calories that I found, the highest in protein, and it's like a dollar a, a bar. Um, versus everything, like, everything else is, like, super low in protein and, and really high in calories and it costs an arm and a leg. So, so there's that. So, I, you know, I've, I've, I'm, what am I getting with this? I have been using those, but when I need, like, a snack, Kind has, like, these they're almost like kind of like Rice Krispies, but they're not as thick. They're really thin, um, but it's kind of got the texture of a Rice Krispie, but it's with oats and everything like that. And they're, I think I want to say they're like 150 calories and they're like seven grams of protein or something like that. Um, maybe not even that. I don't even know. But it's protein that I can get in in between meals. Because um, sometimes getting in the meals is kind of difficult too. Um, so the other thing is with meals is that I'm finding it really hard to eat meat, pretty much any kind of meat. Um, it really sits, chicken's the worst by far, no matter how I eat the chicken, it just sits like I, it's so frustrating. Like I can go and have a buffalo wing at a restaurant and or you know like a buffalo tender and not have any issues and I can probably get maybe two in and then I'm full but then I have a buffalo wing with just the sauce on it and I can only get in one if that and and then I feel sick after eating it like it it's really frustrating um beef tends to go down a little bit better um I'm not sure really ground beef is kind of kind of rough but steak is okay um as long as it's not overcooked um and then tonight we're making uh ground turkey nachos so I'm hoping that goes really well because turkey has been going down really well so I don't know I'm trying I'm trying I'm fine I'm Basically, I'm looking for anything kind of protein that I can consume that isn't going to be, like, super high in calories. Like, I found um, there's a really a bean that's really high in protein, so I'm going to try those. You know, even if I have to, if, you know, those are like a, a meal one day or something like that, and that's all I have with it. Hopefully not. Ugh. I just, I have no ideas. I'm not a cook. So this is like all new territory for me. And it's really frustrating. Because, you know, I tried the dairy route before to get in my protein. And, woo, constipation ain't, ain't no joke. <laughs> so I'm trying not to get all my dairy, for, or all my protein from dairy. Because I don't want to go down that road again. You know, I think the most, like, I pretty much have for, I mean, I can't have milk anyways. Hell, even at this point, almond milk is upsetting my stomach. Um, soy, I can deal with it, but yeah, I'm, I'm struggling really bad. It's like lact lactose or soy is really the only things I can consume. Um, so, I'm trying to think of what else I've tried. Oh, ooh. You might like this idea. It's pretty good. It's, it can be bland. I guess it depends on the kind of meats you use. But basically, I take like a string cheese. And this is a snack, though. This is like my snack on my 20-minute break at work. I take a string cheese and I roll, I wrap it in a slice of smoked turkey and black forest ham. Mm, I think, I think with all three things, you get like anywhere from like 10 to 15 grams of protein and it's filling you know it's not super high in calories because you know the stuff is the healthy you know low sodium stuff and that so it's not that bad it's like 50 calories for like two ounces and I don't even use the two ounces so can't beat that anyways I'm rambling um so uh, yeah I don't know I'm hoping that next week, you know, I can get in some better results. 
I'm tr really trying this week to get in protein any way I can. Um, and the fact that I, you know, I'm not working two jobs anymore means I'm not on my feet as much. I'm not walking as much. So now that I have all this free time, I keep keep saying I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna go to the gym, and I never do. And I'm like, I really just need to. And I, as much as I really want um, someone to go with, it's just not realistic. I work totally different shifts from everyone. I work too far away for everyone. Gotta do it on my own, I guess. Sucks. So anyways, hopefully next week, better news, better results. And I hope everyone has a good week.